So I got all these really fun things from Wet n Wild. I got this Glitter Otzi um, liquid sparkler. So it says that it, um, it's a liquid sparkler in the shade Aurora. Make it rain glitter. Glitter Otzi liquid sparkler is an all over glitter top coat that can be applied to the eyes, lips, or anywhere you choose to dazzle. Apply one coat for a sheer layer of sparkle or two coats for full impact glitter. Use alone and mix and match or layer over other makeup. So it says that in bold. Um, and my little tweezers here because they have it packaged in that um, shrink wrap type pack packaging that you can't get off when you have nails. Finally, okay. So the box is actually really cool. It's a glitter that you can feel it's kind of textured. And now there's another layer to get through. A little sticker here in the front. It looks like there's foundation or something on there. It's probably happened in the store. I got all these at um, Walmart. I don't know if these came out recently in the States or, come on, in the, in the States or not. Um, but here they're brand new and uh, I don't know about, about anybody else's Walmart but mine's pretty not the store itself but just the makeup section can get pretty ghetto and janky there's stuff everywhere opened up and thrown around and it's rare to get a to try to find something that isn't hasn't been tampered with so that is one thing that I do appreciate about that cellophane packaging and this is like a little felt plastic insert that this sat in. Uh, throw that over there. And um, so here we go. Here's the what they call liquid sparkler. I'd call it a liquid eyeshadow but I guess you can use it anywhere. Um, the top reminds me of a Kat Von D Study Kiss lipstick. Actually I have one right here. Yes yeah, so this is a, a Kat Von D Studded Kiss lipstick. And there's the glitter Otzi top. So they're both um, that spiky packaging. I don't know if I like that they kind of took that idea, but it's only so I oh uh, there's only so many ideas in the world. Oh come on! Now I can't get this open. This this video is going great already. It's taking me two minutes to even try to get into it. Okay, there we go. So I'll do a swatch here for you. Oh, that's pretty. So it looks like it's just a clear base and it has pink and purple sparkle in it. There we go. Yeah, so it doesn't look like too much there. Let's, I'm gonna do another layer here on my hand. that built up a little bit but oh yeah you can see it a little bit better I'll let it dry for a second and then put another layer on and see what happens then and then also I got some of the little single eyeshadows now we never had these before in Canada um, so I got the shade brulee just because a lot of people say they love it, especially um, Jessica Braun from Jam Beauty 89. And then I also got the shade Bleach, which is a really, really cool uh, sparkly glitter. And then uh, the shade Spiked, which is like a blue silver glitter. So I was thinking these would be cool to layer over that glitter Otzi um, shadow. Let's see, I'll put them on my hand. So this is the shade Bleached once again. Okay, it feels like glitter. It's very gritty. Oh, it's sticky. Oh, is it like a gl glitter cream shade? Okay. So once you get over the first layer that's dry, it gets kind of creamy like a, a chapstick almost. There's it there. I'll just swatch it on its own first. 
Oh, so it's like a greeny gold color. You probably didn't see that swatch at all. So there's the shade bleach there. So once again, it's got kind of a clear base and then it's just glitter. It's basically just like a, a glitter color and a primer almost. That's what it feels like. Let's go to, on to the shade Spiked here. Wasn't what I was expecting though. A little disappointed in that. I was hoping it was going to be just a dry shadow that was like pure glitter. <sighs> Finally broke into it. Jeez, that was so hard. So there's it open. I'm guessing it's going to feel the same. So yeah, the top layer is just like dry. A dry glitter. Which is really pretty. Yeah, and then it has that bomb in it once again. Or whatever that is. And then it becomes... Um, like damp and sticky. This one you'll probably see when I swatch it. Yeah, and it's kind of like chunky. And I'll do another layer of that glitter off, see on my hand here, just on top. Okay, yeah, don't layer it up because it actually just pulls off the bottom layer once it's dry. That's exactly what happened. You, I don't think you'll be able to tell. Not really. It looks really pretty, but right around here, yeah, you can kind of see like this. See how it got patchy? Um, okay, I'm going to put some of that shade spiked on top of it just to see what happens. Yeah, then it just makes a mess. There, we tried to put spike on it and it just... I'll try to show you. So I got quite a bit on my finger there. There we go. Yeah, see, it just pulls away. Hmm, we'll have to try it on the eyes and see what happens with that. Now I have a glitter mess everywhere. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, fun, fun times. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to swatch the shade Brulee. Alright, so I have it open here. Feels very dry. Can't see that. I'm kind of rubbing my finger over it quite a bit just to see if there's a top layer on it just like the other shadows. Uh, yeah, and you can kind of see it. It's almost the exact same. Yeah, it's about the same shade as my skin tone, so it's not really a valuable swatch for you guys. But it does feel okay. It feels a little bit of a drier formula than I would prefer. Um, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air eyeshadow palette. I did do swatches of it um, for a video. I think it was just my eyeshadow collection video, but I actually haven't used this on my eyes yet. There's been so many new releases and everything, so I figured I'd use this with uh, those other shadows. Um, but Brulee does feel different, like a different formula than these, and I think they were released around the same time, but these came to... Canada faster than this did for me. And then also I got these, so there I got two of them here. Um, Fox in a box, and they this one's this one here is uptown in Uptown Girl, and this one is in Girl Next Door. And Uptown Girl is a marbleized big blush, and so is uh, Girl Next Door. Now I do think that Uptown Girl looks more like a highlighter. And this almost looks like a um, an hourglass blush, or what's those other blushes? Oh, uh, Benefit, because it comes in a little box. So it almost looks like a Benefit blush, but they're both scented. So this, this one here is peach scented, and this one here is strawberry. I think I recall liking the peach more in the store. It's kind of weird smelling a box, you know, you're in a store and you're smelling a product. People are walking by like, what is she doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't really, I find this one's kind of stinky. I just don't like that fake strawberry scent to me. It smells like dirty feet or something. Um, but I like the peach one. But I still liked the color of this, so I got it. I'll open them up and get them swashed for you. Alright, so I have this one here opened up, Girl Next Door. Okay, so that's how it comes. It has this little brush that's stuck on. That to me, not using that. 
yeah, to me it's it's very reminiscent of Benefit, but Benefit it would be the little, because this has the little plastic thing, Benefit it would be the brush like that, right? But it's cute, look at that! So there's that, and then there's the back. The writing's upside down. <laughs> you know, you would think the uh, writing would go the right way, but that's fine. Um, I like the color of it, but let's get it swatched here. Throw that out of the way. Yeah, it's definitely baked. Oh, my fake nail kind of dug into it there. So I'm just running my, trying to run my finger along. And uh, let's just do a swatch right here. So it's got a nice sheen to it. it reminds me of a um, little bit of like a luminoso type of deal, you know, a shiny um, natural blush. It doesn't look like glitter though. I'm going to swatch it where I can see. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, it doesn't have glitter, it just has a sheen to it. So that's really nice, I like that one. And then this one here is Uptown Girl. I'm just gonna get it open. So same thing, little brush stuck on. I don't like that, because then you have to peel the glue and everything off, and it's kind of a cheapy brush. I would think that this would work better for a nose contour. And it has a little plastic insert. And I actually think that this is going to be like a highlighter. But I, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of... Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. There's some marbleized purpley color in there. And then there's the box. I'm just going to give it a swatch. This one feels softer. Yeah, that's definitely like a highlight, isn't it? I'll do a bit more. It's nice. It's like a nice little highlight, like a peachy toned highlight. Um, I can't tell if there's glitter in it or not though because there's so much glitter on my arm. I'll put it in a different spot again. Yeah, no glitter. Uh, maybe a little bit of micro glitter in this one, but not not anything outrageous. So these are super cute, so I'll be trying those out. And then I also had these plumping glosses, so they're pretty cool looking, aren't they? They're really fancy. And um, it just says plumping serum volumizing lip gloss. You get 0.12 fluid ounces. And um, I got the shade Pink Teddy and also Birthday Suit. So I did try Birthday Suit and I, I liked this one. So um, when I was there, I picked this one up because I couldn't help it. I had to break into it. Um, so far, after the first use, I did really like it. it. I did notice the tingling kind of plumping thing, you know, like the, um, um, you know, the Soap and Glory plumping lip gloss. It felt like that, but this one actually tasted good. It tasted like um, cake a little bit, like birthday cake. Uh, so I picked up the other shade, Pink Teddy, and um, I kind of want every shade of these so far after just using it one time. I really like plumping glosses. I'll give you guys a swatch on my other hand of them. So this one here is birthday suit. There we go. So there's birthday suit. And then Pink Teddy, I haven't opened this one up yet. So yeah, it still smells the same. So hopefully the formula is consistent. And I like that they're a little bit colored. So Pink Teddy definitely is a lot more sheer. Sheer pink. And birthday suits a lot deeper of a shade and the shades go from really really light to really really deep so that's pretty cool too they go to like a, a vampy shade so pure nude to vampy so I'll be trying those out too so right now I just have um, the NYX lip line a uh, lip liner on in the shade mahogany and I'm gonna put pink teddy on just to see and we'll leave it on throughout the video and you guys let me know if you notice that my lips got any bigger. I'll tell you when the plumping feeling starts kicking in too. I, the first time I think it took a minute or two. 
Okay, so to prime the eyes, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow primer in the shade Smooth Canvas. And then I'm going to pick up the shade Brulee. And I know I usually don't set my eyeshadow primer all over the lid, but today I'm going to. Alright, and I'm just going to pick up an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush in that shade. And just set my primer with that. And just like always too, if you see me using the same brush in different colors, I've used my color switch in between. So I'm trying to think of a cool look I can create using these. And these two sparkly, balmy shadow things. So I think what I'm going to do is probably a cut crease, like a really cool cut crease. And then use this as transitions. And I'll pro yeah, I'll probably use this like more mixed in I might mix these in because they're not it's not as dark of a color as you would think that it is so uh, let's just go with it I don't know what I'm gonna end up with so this could turn out really good or this could turn out really bad so I'm gonna grab my Sigma E40 I'm going to go in with this shade the shade here transition there's two I'm going in with the cooler toned one and then I'm just going to place that all over the lid. And now because I did set my eye, I don't have to worry about it. In some of my other tutorials I, I show you, I pack it on. Since my eyes already set, I don't need to worry about that. I can go right into blending. Wow, this shadow goes really far. Like I didn't think it was going to be as impactful as it is. I'm going to pick up that other elf brush and some of that shade brulee again. Just to knock it down a bit. I didn't think it was going to be so pigmented. Sigma like my A40 again. Got some fallout there. Not too much. It's okay. To me it's a little patchy. This is just that brush with brulee on it again. I'm just doing this to try to define. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to grab some more of my eyeshadow primer. And this time I'm going to go in with a little flat brush here, flat angled brush. And do a cut crease. I'm going to bring it all the way out like that. And now I'm going to grab a little small elf angle brush and some more of that transition shade. And I'm going to run it along where I cut the crease there. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go in with the Glotterazzi and run that all along the lid where I cut my crease with that primer. Ew, some of it just flung out when I pulled it open and got on here. So be careful with it. And now I'm running this directly over eyeshadow primer. So just keep that in mind. Ooh, that's really pretty, isn't it? I'm, just, I'm really impressed with that. So I don't really recall when my lips started feeling really tingly. When I was putting it on I kind of felt that, just a little side note here. But um, I do notice they're feeling really cool.
And I'm just going to layer it up a little bit before it dries. Really pretty. Okay, now this could completely mess the whole look up because so far I'm really liking how that looks. But I'm going to grab the shade Bleached and a small little elf flat shader brush and pick some of that I can't see from my hand such a small shadow I'm gonna pick some of that up that's what it looks like on that brush it looks kind of chunky so and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner looks okay I guess. Don't really see much of a difference. And then I'll put some of Spiked along the uh, next half. I'll just use that same elf brush and I'll just grab some of it. did add some more glitter to the look. Um, I do like them. My eyelids feel a little heavy, but it could be because I have two layers of primer on and then that glitter Otzi and then now this with the thick, the thick uh, consistency of it, but I usually don't. My eyelids didn't feel heavy until I put these on, so that is something to note. Um, they probably will crease. If they do, I'll update you in the description box, even though I have all that primer on. I feel, I, I do feel like they'll crease. But since I did a cut crease, maybe it'll work to my advantage. <laughs> we'll see. Um, my battery is going to die on my camera though because it took me so long to open all those packages. So what I'm going to do is probably use a couple colors from this, probably just the browns on my lower lash line. I'll do eyeliner and lashes and everything. And then I'll come back to show you the blushes. Okay, so here's the finished eye look, guys. I like how it turned out, it's pretty cool. Um, the lashes I used are Femme Fatale by House of Lashes. Um, I did find that the balmy glitter stuff, um, those eyeshadows, I <laughs> keep calling them balmy glitter stuff, Color Icon Glitter Singles, that's what they're called by Wet n Wild. I did find that it made the eyeliner bleed a little bit, which usually doesn't really ever happen to me. I used a gel eyeliner by Essence and also an e.l.f. eyeliner, but I'll have it listed in the description box below for you. Um, I'll give you my overall thoughts of all of it at the end here. So now let's get into these. So this one is once again Uptown Girl. So this is more of the highlighter shade to me, so I think I'll use that as a highlighter. And then this one is Girl Next Door. We'll use that as a blush. So, I'm just going to grab this fluffy tart brush and a little bit on there. Hopefully, it's not too dense of a brush. Ooh, it's pretty. I like that. It's a slightly scented, but it's not strong, you know, like the Too Faced products, it's not as strong. I like that though, it doesn't look, um, too impactful. Let's see if it can build up just a little bit, I'm not going anywhere, so I can look a little crazy. I just wanted to see if it builds up for you. Yeah, it does, it builds nicely. Very good formula. I love the sheen to it. Like, look at that. Very healthy looking. Yeah, this side's quite a bit darker, but it does build up nicely and it's not patchy. It went on very smooth. I have the Wet n Wild foundation on and then um, the Patrick Star powder to set it. And that's it. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up 
Uptown Girl and this other Tarte brush. We'll see how that looks as a highlight. That other blush, um, Girl Next Door, was so shiny though, it's hard to tell. <laughs> I'll put it in a different spot too. Put a little on the bridge of the nose. Upper lip. Put a little on my forehead too, just so we can see it there with no other products. Yeah, it just gives a nice sheen. I wouldn't say it's a super sparkly highlight, and you could probably use it as a blush, but it's it's a little too iridescent for that, I would say. But I do like it on top of that other blush. I think it just looks very healthy. I'm just going to try something here. I grabbed my ABH Marisi highlighter. And I'm just going to go in with the same brush and just layer it on top just to see um, the impact difference. Yeah. So it's not really... Those definitely are blushes or a very subtle highlight, but not a wow in your face highlight like uh, the ABH one. But the ABH highlighter looks nice on top of these products, doesn't it? I like it, I like it. Okay, so overall thoughts on these products. The single eyeshadow and brulee I'll use again. I'll probably depot it and put it in one of my C palettes that doesn't have a flesh tone shade. Um, the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette, I'm sure that anybody else would tell you. Oh, by the way, my lower lash line, I did use three of these colors. So I used the plummy color, the purple color, and this color down here for the lower lash line. Just the darker ones on the outer and then that purpley color on the inner and then the transition shade to blend them but i really do like this palette i'll use it again is it the best quality palette no <laughs> like if you have the modern renaissance you definitely don't need this um is it bad no it's not i find it a little patchy and one thing that i don't like and this could just be like a really bougie thing to to say but it's so lightweight so when I have it on the table and I'm grabbing my brush and I'm putting it in the shadows to pick up some, it wants to move around, right? And that's just so annoying because then I have to sit there and I have to hold the palette and then pick up a shade or have it bounce around everywhere and then get powder everywhere because the brush is, I'm being too aggressive with the brush to try to get it, you know, to get it on the shadow. Um, it's, to me, I just, I find that annoying when I, when I'm using a palette, you know, I should be able to set it down and pick up a shade very easily and not have to think about it, the whole palette moving around on me. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, the shadows are good. They're not bad. Are they amazing? No, they're not. They're not the worst shadows that I've used. I'll keep the palette, but I wouldn't say like run out and buy it right away. Um, these things, I think you've seen that... Um, I'm kind of disappointed. They're not what I expected. It does nowhere on here does it say cream glitter or anything. It just says glitter single. So, and look, what does this say? And then the brulee one says eyeshadow single. So, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't have assumed that it was a glitter eyeshadow considering it didn't say glitter eyeshadow single. But I didn't expect it to be, um so emollient right and it almost in like a bomb my eyelids still feel quite heavy it didn't really dry down and like i said i had some issues with my eyeliner and i do think that i'm gonna have some issues with it moving around um are they fun to use sure they're fun to use but once again not exactly what i expected if it is something that's up your alley though i believe these were a dollar 99 canadian so not too big of a deal, Not didn't break the bank or anything like that. Um, this Hard Candy Glitterazzi, when I swatched it on my hands and how it was performing, I didn't really think that I would like it, but once I got it on my eyes, I did really like it. Um, those glitter single color icon shadows or whatever you want to call them, 
to damp it up quite a bit but I think that I would like using this on its own or using this as a base and then just putting um, a light shimmer shadow or something over top of it even a highlighter so I did like that and I forget how much this was I think like maybe five dollars um, these I think were eight seven or eight dollars or around that price and I really like them I think they're they're definitely worth it they perform like high-end they are packaged very beautifully. I probably will get the other shades. I think there was five or six of them in the store. There was one that smelled like chocolate, so that one's next on my list. But I really do like these. Like, if these were in a different box, or they said benefit on them, like if this said benefit, or even um, if the balm came out with something like this, you know, I would believe it. I, even if these were in an hourglass package and you said that this was an hourglass product I would believe it these perform beautifully it is a first impression but I can tell right away with face products I do like these and I do want more of them and these plumping lip glosses so full disclosure and you can probably see it before I came back on camera I did put another layer on of pink teddy and look what happened oh it's kind of fixed this thing came off okay it's it's kind of fixed it had come completely off and it was up there and there was goop everywhere and I was like oh no and I get that that happens that's just a packaging issue um it looks okay now yeah it's gonna be loose forever now I think see that keeps coming up and that's the stopper that holds yeah see it just shot up again so that's an issue for me um I could have just got a bad one so I'm kind of sad about that but I'll still use it just <laughs> you know I needed to mention it that that happened just in case it's happening to other people and it is a packaging issue um, but this one here uh, birthday suit I haven't had an issue with I'll show you that again this one's fine um, I really do like these glosses I like the cooling feeling on my lips I like the taste of it I like how this looks um, I don't think this is the exact right shade for my eye look, but whatever. I, I do recommend these as well. I probably will pick up more up. Hopefully I can figure out the packaging issue with this one and it doesn't happen with any other ones. I believe these were $7 Canadian, which isn't really too bad because this one, the Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory, I really do like this gloss and I've gone through three tubes of it now. I know a lot of people don't go through glosses a lot, but I go through these a lot. And um, these are $20, so $7, $20, I'll get three of these for a dollar more than one of these, right? So I do like them and I would get some more of those. But yeah guys, there's my review of some of the new Wet n Wild products that have been released. Have you tried any of these products? Are there any other um, products, new products from Wet n Wild that you've tried out? Let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know if there's any other new drugstore releases you'd like me to try out here in Canada for you. I do know that um, sometimes Canadians we get releases differently than America or the rest of the world so I can do that for you as well. Also if you did like this video please give me a thumb up, thumbs up. Also, please follow me on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram handle right here for you. And also, please subscribe so we can continue on this makeup loving journey together. Thanks, guys. Bye. They should showcase that more because I didn't realize that, um, because it's on the front of the box here, but I didn't realize it was on here. This is really cute, isn't it? Stupid lights. <sighs> Sorry, I live near a hospital, so it's just the helicopter. So, there you go. Oh. Good, is it? Oh, it's going great. I can't get it open. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So, and then I'll come back to do the blushes with the 
and then 